see you all. Hey, Bia. Hey. Hey, Joy. Hey. So, how was our Labor Day, guys? Boring. We didn't do yeah. anything. It's dead. Dead, dead, dead. So we was just here doing work and yeah. I hope that y'all enjoyed y'all's Labor Day because ours was pretty dead. But I mean, we did have like a movie night last night. Yeah. So that was fun. It's funny, but it was <laughs> <laughs> insider. So guys, earlier when I was eating, some people were trying to like, you know, okay, so I don't drink or smoke, of course. And like, I don't bash people that do. Like, that's just them. They were basically telling me like oh we're gonna be in college for four years like you know we're gonna get you effed up and stuff you know within these next four years and i'm just like mm, it's not gonna happen i'm just saying all this to say you know like do what you want but don't feel pressure by you know other people if that makes any sense like don't don't feel like you need to do it just to have fun because you can have fun in other ways do it because you want to do it if you want to do it. i'm not saying that it's right but whatever you want to do do it but just don't let other people you know influence your decisions basically so that's my word of the day in case you haven't noticed i'm pretty sick well sound sick that's why uh that's why i'm like dragging my words and talking all slow my nose is congested and my throat kind of hurts and I have a stress pimple on my forehead that came out of nowhere. So, great way to start my week. And I'm about to get to work. So, talk to y'all later. Great morning to you all. It is Wednesday of this week. And I decided to get cute today, guys. I feel amazing. I have not done a full face of makeup since the beginning of last week. So this feels amazing. I love my hair today. I'm just wearing it all down so that all the little, not beads, but you know, these little decorative things can show. And my outfit is so cute. So I have on this, um, Wonder Woman. I don't know if y'all have seen the movie, but I love this movie, Wonder Woman. And yeah, it was a great movie. I got this shirt from the men's section at Walmart for $7, honey. And then these are not jeans. They're like, I don't know what they are, but they're not jeans. They're like, I don't know, but they're like black pants kind of. And then I have my suede um, Oxford vans i'm gonna share with you guys a word that my mom actually sent me she sends me like scripture verses every morning just to help me start my day this is god speaking to us and it says when you seek me you find me and are satisfied when lesser goals capture your attention i fade into the background of your life i'm still there watching and waiting but you function as if you were alone actually my light shines on every situation you will ever face. Live radiantly by expanding your focus to include me in all your moments. Let nothing dampen your search for me. So in essence, it's basically saying include God in everything you do. But it's very easy to like slip out of your routine, like your, you know, your ritual of praying every morning, reading a word, picking up your Bible, spending time with him because you have so many other things to do. So it's very important that you seek his face, keep him with you at all times this is my word for today i had a word yesterday too that's crazy oh y'all my english class got canceled again he's the go honestly i don't know like he's just be sending random texts and he's like oh class is canceled something came up and we're just like all right fam whatever i still have like papers to write and stuff so i'll be doing that i might take a nap when i come back home but after that back to work and yeah so have a blessed day have a productive day if there's anything to vlog for the rest of this day i will be picking up my camera so i'll talk to you guys soon so guess where i am i'm in a car guess his car just guess just guess oh, hello. and tell him why i'm with you guys because you want to run away from college <laughs> Because she ran up into a safe and I'm sorry. Exactly. So I'm sure by the time this vlog um, comes out, you guys would have already heard about Hurricane Irma. Um, nothing to be played with, guys. Um, about Austin's 30 minutes from Florida, and even though it's hitting South Florida, 
we still have to be cautious about it hitting the, the campus and the city even. So my parents came and scooped me ASAP and I was all for it. The time is now 11.25 and we are on the way home. We should be getting there around two or so. This is me after a long day of um, school because I had four classes today, being that one got canceled. So I had four classes today. And then today I had the lab, which was extra long. So I didn't get out till like five, like before 5.30 and then I went to eat and then came back, started packing, emailed all my professors to tell them that I wouldn't be um, in class tomorrow and Friday. And I really don't know when I'm coming back to campus either. I don't know, but we are definitely taking caution for this hurricane and I just send out a prayer to all of the families that are in Florida that can't leave under whatever circumstance and we just pray that everybody's safe and sound in Jesus name so I'm gonna move back home I'm excited to see my brother I was happy to see my parents traffic looks okay right now but it's not I'm going 40 miles per hour and I can't go faster so there's a lot of traffic ahead. yeah we were bumper to bumper before this and all the license well majority of the license plates say Florida 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 so you can imagine like everybody that's trying to get out of Florida right now just to find some safety so this is crazy this hurricane is in category number five and it's one of the um, biggest ones that they've seen in history they said over the last 25 years so this is crazy so I'm really just praying but I'm happy to be going home I, I just needed a break anyways this is how the middle of my week is going it's Thursday or is no it's, it's still Wednesday oh wow it's still Wednesday Day. In 30 minutes, it will be there. Wow! Why am I thinking tomorrow's? Wow, so I have an extra long weekend at home with my parents. That's great. I have an 8 a.m. quiz that's due, so I'm about to take that in the car and then hit the hay. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Wow. Look at what they did for me. Everything looks so. I don't know if y'all can tell, but my room looks so different. I just got done crying, child. I just got done crying. <sighs> well, when I just woke up from this long nap, we're finally home. It's like, I don't even know my phone. It's like two, it's 212. I just saw my brother. <laughs> he didn't want to be on the vlog, but I cried so much. Like, not a lot, but you know, just tears of joy. Like, whenever people just do nice things for me, nice gestures, I just <sighs> ball because it's like, you know, nobody has a warm heart nowadays, and like, nothing beats family. Like, family is really everything, and I just love my family so. I'm about to take this quiz that's due in a couple hours. I still haven't taken it. And then I'm gonna shower and hit the hay. So. Good morning, guys. It is Friday afternoon, and I'm running errands with mommy. She be, <laughs> she be flexing like she don't know the camera about to be on her. Big announcement, Um, well, for me, that is um, being that this hurricane is so What's the word? Devastated? Be no. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Being that this hurricane is so big, um, they canceled school Monday and Tuesday for us. Um, I'm pretty sure they canceled it for a lot of other schools in this area as well. But that means I won't be going back until Tuesday night. So I'll be at home for a lot longer, which I'm so, so happy about. And it gives me more time to focus on myself and to do my um, work for school because I have a lot of essays to write two tests to study for like exams and stuff so today is just my day of like relaxation going out with my mom before you know hitting the books again and i'm excited to go to church on sunday for sure today i think i'm gonna surprise some of my co-workers um from my job at tj maxx and then we're gonna go run errands for my mom i wanted to leave college so bad i realized going to college i'm definitely an introvert and i just love to be by myself now and it's weird well i mean it's not weird because back home i was by myself a lot i never really went out like that so i thought you know going to college would be different which it was but then when i started getting schoolwork 
and stuff I just realized how much I need to focus on that because my major is rigorous I know just like being by myself and I couldn't really focus when I was there so that's why I love being home and don't really want to go back but I have to you know school purposes but we'll see y'all later on today JC panties and I got a stain in my pants so I'm about to go buy some new pants because I'm not about to walk around looking like this at all it's not that noticeable but it's noticeable to me so I'm about to try these on and see if I can buy some new stuff update I got new jeans they're actually jeggings and yeah I like they're on sale too which is great so off we go Yes. Hey. Hi. How are you? I miss you. So much. Oh my God. Where's Miss Linda? I just saw her. She just went to cluck out. Oh. Dang. Say hey. Hey, mom. Hi. Amara. Y'all, this is my favorite coworker ever, and I came back to visit her. Who else is here today besides Bianca and? Is that China? Who was that? These are yours. You have to evacuate. Hi, Scott. Hi. Give me a hug. <laughs> How you been? I've been good. You have to evacuate. Oh, she's shopping. I'm vlogging. <laughs> hey, girl. Oh, yes. Ashley, <laughs> 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 why did you? She's so much. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi. Ashley. You look so cute. Hi, Ashley. <laughs> How are you? I missed you. I missed you. She was late. Black people time. No, I really like, was. Yeah, she was. I had she her waiting. <laughs> I can't believe she's vlogging it. Like, yes. I mean, so you I'm, don't want to be on the vlog. I'm going to be on the vlog, you know. <laughs> business Amada oh okay no actually oh my business is called shop choco girls you guys and I'll put the information down below in yes. the description box yes yes we're actually gonna do a collab what do you sell so on the website shirts accessories chokers sunglasses everything we got the whole shebang the whole we shebang black owned business company get at her you already know yes oh my goodness so guys, we just stopped by China Express and I got sesame chicken, general tasso awesome. chicken, TSO, some uh, butter potatoes and some seasoned fries, honey. And she got some spring rolls. My nose is kind of greasy now, but the great thing about uh, China Express on 218 in McDonough, Georgia, if anybody is in the area, um, it's only a dollar per scoop of food. So one scoop, and when I tell you the scoops are big because it's a big spoon, and sometimes they put extra in it, it's only a dollar. So your meal really doesn't come up to that much money. It's a great place to, it's a great place to go. Not every day, but once in a while, you know, if you just want some nice Chinese food. And the people are nice, and they're super, super cheap. So, and help them out because it's still kind of like their grand opening. So, yeah, I'll put y'all on. Thanks to me. Okay, bye, Mom. Yes. I said bye. bye. Okay, I can find my keys. I just took everything off my keys, huh? So guys, today is, um, what's today? Saturday, and I'm about to go see it. I was about to say in. I'm about to go see it with my friend. Y'all, I'm finally whipping today. I haven't driven my car in a month, so y'all know I'm happy. Like, this is my baby for real. Yes. 
happy i was real life about to have a fit just now y'all um i got in my car for the first time in, the, in a month and i couldn't find my aux cord nor the adapter because i have i have an iphone 7 so i need the adapter piece to go in here too and i was like where's my aux cord and everybody was like i don't know i don't know ask your dad mind you my dad's not home so i had to call him and stuff he had it like in the garage and whatnot and i'm just like okay fam so anyways i got my i like i legit cannot drive without music y'all that's the thing like i can't Whew, okay i've calmed down but anyways my outfit um it's really just my bad Austin gear because my dumb butt literally left Valdosta with just Valdosta gear. I don't know, don't ask me. Let me focus on backing out this driveway. And yeah, I'm about to go see it. Um, I don't know if I'll bring the camera inside, but I'll let y'all, I'll definitely let y'all know how the movie goes when I'm out. Tell them what happened. What happened? Tell them what happened. <laughs> the movies was packed. The dang, the dang, relax, this place over here packed, huh? Relax, <laughs> Yo, no, I'm mad, I'm mad. I'm mad. So yeah, the movie uh, was sold out. Um, we supposed to see it at 740, 725? 725, yeah. We got there, we got there like 722. And it said sold out, well, first of all, the line was like extra long. And then it said sold out on the screen before we even got in the door. And then the next time was 810. That movie was sold out too. The next available time was 915 or something. My mom wasn't going for it because I have church in the morning, so yeah so that's kind of a bummer i mean we might go back like monday or tuesday maybe but i don't know so right now we're, we're at cheddar's with the wait for two people it's 45 minutes to an hour and it's 806 right now and cheddar's i didn't tell you but cheddar's customer service is terrible are you serious yeah <laughs> so i don't know what we're gonna do but like like they be ignoring you when you say hey i need some water or something no, but they just take a minute to bring out your food. Oh, man. I mean, last time I went there, it was like, it was for my going away party for TJ Maxx, and it was like 11 of us, so maybe that's why, but... Oh, you told me about that. Yeah. Me about that. But we'll see. Hey, guys. Happy Sunday. Hope that you guys enjoyed your Sunday whenever this vlog comes out. I just got back from church, and I'm so happy because I haven't been to church <laughs> since i left um well actually i did go to church in college the first week but i haven't been back to my church in a month since i left for college so i'm just happy like i i feel rejuvenated i didn't vlog this morning before church What was I saying? I feel rejuvenated. I'm happy. I'm just glad to be back in my church home. I brought my camera in the car with intentions to vlog church, but I just, I just wanted to really, I just wanted to be in God's presence. Like I didn't want anything to distract me. I just wanted to be there, be present, be in the atmosphere. That's why I didn't bring my camera into church, but it was a great day. This is my outfit. Okay light is coming through so it's just this shirt this shirt i actually tucked it in it's actually kind of longer but and then i just have this um like pleated black pencil skirt and i took that in and then on my feet it's the same shoes that i wore for graduation if you guys watch my graduation vlog so i'm about to go help prepare for sunday dinner but i just wanted to share i really just wanted to share what i got out of today's word because it was when i tell y'all it was amazing i was dancing for my life like i was like a breakthrough was coming we actually had a guest preacher come today it wasn't our pastor the title of his sermon was seasoned the scripture verse that he gave to us was psalms 92 verses 12 through 15 and it reads in the english standard version the righteous flourish like the palm tree and grow like a cedar in Lebanon. They are planted in the house of the Lord. They flourish in the courts of our God. They still bear fruit in old age. They are ever full of sap and green to declare that the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. So we all see like how palm trees flourish so beautifully. And basically that's what God is referring us to 
righteous people flourishing like palm trees and how we have to be as seasoned people we have to be deeply rooted and the guy was talking about how a palm tree you know palm trees can grow like in the desert or whatever and where it looks like there's no water around but the roots of the palm tree spreads hundreds and hundreds of miles down beneath the ground where it finds water to flourish and basically he was um saying that that's how we should be a seasoned people the difference between being seasonal and season seasonal things and people are only around for a season obviously summer spring or winter they're lukewarm christians they're not really really in it for every step of the way if you know what i mean so all i wrote down was just um like little bullet points under what a seasoned person should be like and i said seasoned people are consistent in their praise seasoned people accept correction they're not bitter not afraid of a battle stability don't change for anybody that's really that was really really important for me because um i don't know if you guys follow me on instagram but my last post i was talking about um it's easy to waver when you get to college it's easy to forget who god is when you're you know around new surroundings and when other people are not doing the things that you know is right and when you're not going to church every sunday like you're used to it's really hard to you know get back into that groove and like remember who you are in christ and i feel like that point was so important about stability and not changing for anybody because if you're true to yourself and if you're true to god and if you really really believe in him and if you believe that he's a part of your life and if you have a relationship with him stay stay stable don't waver you know don't be lukewarm he was he was saying how we're hurricane proof because again he's relating us back to the palm tree and he was saying like the palm tree you know sways left and right sways left and right whenever there's harsh hurricanes or harsh rains or whatever but he was saying we're hurricane proof because we're deeply rooted just like the palm tree had the palm tree is stable we need to be that as well we need to be stable and deeply rooted in christ also so it says seasoned people have to be planted in the house meaning the house of God um, not shady or not salty um, seasoned people have to mean heaven every step of the way they flourish in all seasons not just one like I said but all seasons and they flourish in all circumstances basically he was just saying like whatever whatever situation you're going through be stable be strong in your walk with god because you know we can do all things through christ which strengthens us and when i tell you i shouted i was just like god like it's just crazy because the things that i'm going through right now as a christian still still trying to find myself y'all i'm definitely not perfect but still trying to find myself in the midst of college life and in the midst of you know not having time to get up in the morning and to read my devotions as much as I want to and in the midst of you know struggling with school not struggling but you know having hard classes and stuff in the midst of everything that's going on and in the midst of like the hurricane that's about to come and in the midst of everything and you know signs of the time and stuff you know when God's about to come back it's just it's just very very important to make sure that we're seasoned we're seasoned with the grace of god we're seasoned in the house of god it's just really really important guys so i hope that y'all took something from this word and yeah let me stop rambling on the word was just so great today so anyways i'm about to get undressed help with dinner and i'll see y'all later